guys, what is up? It's Tony here. Or oh, Lucas, bringing you guys another NHL 18, I almost said 17, Hockey Ultimate Team video. And today, we are starting off the gameplay on the channel. Woohoo. First things first, kind of want to showcase a couple new things. So today's brand new legend, in case you didn't know, they're releasing a brand new legend every single day into Hockey Ultimate Team, which is very, very cool. I like it. Uh, it's not spamming the market or anything like that. So uh, they're introducing Pablo Burry today. Sergey Gonchar was yesterday. And there's also the first team of the week. Uh, it's for the Champions League Hockey, the European uh, best of the best tournament, pretty much. Uh, there's not too many intriguing players that Maxime Noro has two for uh, Thread the Needle, so that's going to be a very, very expensive card. Uh, and there's no Team of the Week set either. So quickly looking at it, first things first, the cards are phenomenally done. EA has done an amazing job this year designing the cards. Um, but yeah, the Team of the Week is uh, all silvers as far as I know. Uh, I do not have confirmation on that. I do assume so by, based on the silver on the side. I assume that will be gold for the Team of the Week. Uh, but look at the Team of the Week. Nothing really too crazy here. Uh, I really like this Lino Marchese card. Uh, I've been playing with him for the last couple years, actually. I always have at least one of him in my collection. Uh, he's 5'6", 143. So he's wicked fast. 81 speed, 83 acceleration, and agility. He has Dangler Zone as well. Uh, so not a terrible synergy. Kind of ups the stats. Uh, but not the greatest synergies. Uh, Joe Lundquist is also intriguing. I mean, obviously, it's Joe Lundquist, Hendricks twin. Uh, but yeah, nothing really too crazy good on this team of the week. Uh, but this Maxime Noro is going to be the go-to guy for sure. 80 overall, 2 for Thread the Needle, which is huge. And he doesn't have the worst stats ever, so uh, he's definitely an intriguing card. And before we even get into the gameplay and showing off two new players I got, I want to show you guys that I did complete all the team challenges. Uh, I finished them last night. I was grinding them out. I did a lot of them on stream, uh, but I did complete every single one of them. And uh, that does mean in my unopened packs, I have a rare players plus pack. That is like 20 gold rare players. Uh, I'm very excited to open this in a little bit here. Uh, but a word of advice with these challenges. As soon as you start getting an uh, all-star, really, I think all-star is all right if you just play normally. Uh, but when it comes to superstar, for me, the easiest thing to do was uh, was actually goalie lock. Uh, the, play, the AI normally just shoots it right at you. And if you have a high-rated goalie, most of the time it will automatically save it. So um, I, I think on superstar, I think goalie mode was the easiest thing for me. Uh, but if you're able to do it normally, go for it. Uh, but that's what I did. Uh, very, very very happy I'm finally done with these and I can start going to the other challenges now all right so we do have our rare players plus back here like I said 20 gold rare players my only 88 plus pull this year was a Brayden Holby I got a Bergeron a Getzloff a Backstrom and that's really it my pack look has been absolutely awful this year but I'm hoping it all changes right here all right we're not doing any fancy methods we're just ripping this pack open hopefully we get if I can get an 88 skater that would be awesome uh, I would like some 87s. I would like some decent pulls. Let's see. Galchenyuk, Shattenkirk. Okay, I'll slow it down a little bit. Jacob Silverberg, Andrew Cogliano. We're getting a lot of 83s. Uh, another 83. Brock Nelson, another 83. No, please not a bunch of 83s. Charlie Coyle, Nick Letty. Matt Duchesne, he goes for around 10k, so that's not the worst thing ever. Andrew Shaw. Oh, God, man. This is bad. This is real bad. Luongo. Uh, it's got darling. So we got about 10k in a Matt Duchesne. But I do have some cool guys to show you that I have gotten on my team in the last couple days here. And uh, they're pretty crazy. Both 90 overall or higher. There you go. You guys can see him. My first hero on the team, Jeremy Roenick. So uh, I ended up actually doing Owen Nolan first. And I'll show you guys that right now. And then I ended up trading him for someone that you'll see here in a second. And then I bought uh, the two carbons I needed for the Jeremy Roenick. And I am very, very happy with him. The few games I played with him, he's been really, really solid for me. I'm going to play the game here shortly and try him out again. But uh, I actually really like him at center this year. He has 82 faceoffs, which isn't the worst. Uh, he can win draws here and there, even with his strength. So um, he's been really, really solid for me. But the, guys, the guy I think you guys are going to want to see some gameplay of is 
the legend Sergei Gonchar. So Sergei Gonchar was actually the first legend they introduced in the Hockey Ultimate Team 18, and uh, it's one heck of a legend. He's by far the best left defenseman in the game. Uh, I ended up trading my Owen Nolan for him, and uh, straight up, and uh, I am very, very happy. Uh, 94 speed, 94 acceleration, 94 agility on a defenseman. 90 shot, I mean, he's pretty much 90 everything. Uh, and at 62-210, he's not going to get knocked over easily. He is unreal for me so far. So we're going to get some gameplay here with this Jeremy Roenick and this Sergey Gonchar. Uh, hopefully, we can get a win here. All right, we're currently in Division 7. Nothing too crazy. We're just going to hop into an online seasons game and uh, try these bad boys out. All right, so we're playing in the Air Canada Center, going against, up against the Empire of Pain, or MFers. This guy's got a hardcore name. Let's see if he can play hardcore. That sounded really weird. Let's go, JR. Oh, can he get it? On his first rush up, nah, Morgan Riley still has it, though. Over to Taylor Hall. Taylor Hall can't tuck it. Good Lord. There we go. Taylor Hall again. Over to JR. Oh, JR got stick lifted at the last second, man. All right, Sergey Gonchar back on D. What? What? EA, come on. First, I get a, a, a EA goal. I mean, now it loops. Oh, Lord. There we go. JR. Beats Morgan Riley. Over to Taylor Hall. Taylor Hall can't tuck it. Aye, 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 man. Michael again. Up to Taze. Taze. Kuznetsov. Oh. It's right there. Oh, what am I doing? There we go. Johnny Taze. Kind of a fluky goal. Hopefully, it doesn't keep looping, but uh, we're tied back at one. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling better than that first goal. Good Lord. No, oh, man. Oh, my God. It just looped back again to when I scored. All right. I guess we're trying to play this one out, I guess. I don't really know. No, man. EA, you got to fix this, man. This is ridiculous. Nice move by Austin. Over to Marner. Up to Goudreau. Over to Matthews. Oh, back to Goudreau. Oh, right to Austin Matthews. There we go. Hit him with the four. Like Austin Matthews. Ignore that voice crack. We're up by one against the Toronto Maple Leafs fan. Always feels good scoring with Matthews against them. Down low, please. You got Roman Yossi. Wide open, Jeff Skinner. And I can't tuck it. He was wide open. Let's try it again. Jeff Skinner. Can't tuck it again. There we go, Roman Yossi. Snipe it. Oh, my goodness, man. I can't tuck it. Skinner going around town to Roman or Chris Letang. That's what I meant. Down low to Duchesne. Duchesne loses the puck. Feels bad, man. Go Eichel. Oh, Eichel. Here we go. Eichel and Kuznetsov. Stop a little bit. Oh, if I can get that pass through. All right, so after one period and about four loops, we're up 2-1. JR. Where are you going, JR? Um, let's go to the point. Over to Gonchar. Oh, my goodness. Gonchar with a heavy clap, but nothing there. Taylor Hall. Going around town. Panarin. Back to Gonchar. Gonchar with a clap. Oh, it's right there, JR. Get it, Jeremy. Oh, my JR. Oh, it's still out. No. So that's five loops. Oh, my goodness gracious, man. That's super annoying. Let's go. Let's see if I can go end time with Sergey Gonchar. Let's see if I can do it here. Nope. Loop. Oh, mm. Okay. I swear. If I got the loss for that, EA. I swear. Come on. That's a win for me. That's got to be a win. I was 2-0-1. I was 2-0-1. The game just didn't count, eh? Yep, so just restarted the game and nothing happened. So, uh, yeah, I just wasted 20 minutes. He did use my contracts, however, so really don't know what the deal is there. Yeah, I don't know, man. That That is ridiculous how that's a thing still. At least people can't cause it this time. Uh, but that's still super annoying. But I think that is going to be the end of the video, guys. I'm sorry I couldn't get a full gameplay out. I will get one tomorrow. Don't worry. But I kind of just want to show off Veronica a little bit. Do that rare players pack. And uh, tomorrow, I think we're going to upgrade the team a little bit more and uh, get some stuff going. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the video. Let me guys know down below if you guys got anything good out of that uh, that rare players pack you got from the challenge. Or if you guys haven't gotten anything good from challenges in general. Let me know. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did, let me know. I'll talk to you guys later. Come on.